our boats straight and ready. The Hambledon Pairs Challenge Cup is next. Yale University of the USA against Hereford Rowing Club from here in the UK on the Buck Station. Hereford Rowing Club. Weaver and Warner. Race number 10. Off they go. A bit of nerves, no doubt. Some anxious glances over the shoulder and Hereford Rowing Club will be uh, acutely aware of Temple Island. Yeah, they need to stay on that side. And here come Hereford Rowing Club out into the middle of the water. The umpire's going to get busy already. Good. And they've corrected quickly, sir. Yeah, we watched Hereford's quad earlier in the four day against Los Gatos. And here we are, two young athletes from Hereford, just 17 years old, I think, this crew. And they um, came through qualifiers. So this will be a fantastic opportunity for them to line up against um, Yale. Weaver and Warner. Nearest the camera in the blue, red and white. That's some strip, isn't it? Eye-catching. Black and white hoops. Strikes everywhere. Yeah. But they uh, have got some serious rowing to do. Let's have a look at how they're getting on. Yale University. These are live pictures now. Yale University opening up a massive lead. Yeah, they'll be very satisfied mid-race where they've got to. Yale University, King, Smith and Edmonds. Yeah, uh, and Edmonds has been selected for the under-23s, and it's going to be one of these stories I think we hear from lots of athletes. She got selected for under-23s, and then they couldn't travel to the regatta because of COVID. So she's here now, um, making sure she makes the most of this Henley opportunity. Um, because, of course, we're very, very fortunate the world has opened up again and, and we can have these international crews and athletes here at the Gatta. Qualifiers rowing now for Yale. Katie King-Smith that Sarah just mentioned in the bow seat. Lucy Edmonds in the stroke seat. Uh, moving in front of the Remenham Club. And Tim, we were talking about conditions. You can see on the water those sort of waves that are coming along, and that's still a headwind that's causing that. It's not boats necessarily that are washed from other boats. It's kind of the conditions. So whilst we're looking at it, it's much calmer. The flags of Remenham there are, are down. They're not, you know, fluttering rather than being held up and horizontal. And um, the conditions are still holding headwind. And that will always favor a bigger crew. And these young women from Hereford, um, I mean, they'll have a fantastic story for them to come here and race at the regatta. Yeah, they'll only be better for the experience. Yeah, the conditions that we talked about earlier, are much more still and calm out there uh, compared to yesterday and, and Tuesday morning at a similar time. We have really blustery, swirling winds, very difficult conditions. Uh, it's still challenging conditions, but just in a different way. Yes, it is, it is. And it, as a rower, I will say quietly, I'd much rather race today than yesterday yes, and the day sure. before. This is, these are much calmer conditions. And as rowers, we generally don't like wind. We leave that to the, the sailors. We want mill ponds to row in if we possibly can have it. But it's an outdoor sport and you race in the conditions you get. So Yale looking very neat and tidy at this stage. This is the Hambledon Pairs Challenge Cup we're watching, Yale University, Kingsmith and Edmonds. And they can just ease the foot off the gas for now, can't they? How much is it about managing your way through the week at this sort of stage when you've got three days remaining? If they go well, they could be back on the water uh, on Sunday as well, clearly in the finals. At this point, if they can keep a bit in the tank for then, that's good management of the week, isn't it? Yeah, and you want to do enough work to get keep your body sharp. So you're um, quite often cruise if they think they're going to be able to manage their way through the gap, will target racing for the first three or four minutes and then seeing if they can manage their energy for that. So you've really stressed your phys physiology, you've practiced your race technique, you've rehearsed what you want to do as the racing gets tighter down the rounds and then you preserve your energy. Yeah, Alex Partridge was making a good point yesterday about uh, how you can get into bad habits if you take your foot off the gas too much. That's uh, the Yale's blades there. And they're wearing those um, khaki hats, what are they, camouflage hats, camouflage for water. Yes. Is that so we can't see them from the drone? <laughs> <laughs> Overhead shots. 
and look at that. The crowds are enjoying this performance from these two women. You can see the here the applause and people really respecting these these rowers. So many boats from the USA taking part in this Henny Raw regatta, and there's another one that we'll need to keep an eye on over the next few days. Got some USA success already on the water. And I guess there's so many boats from the USA, they get lots of support, you can hear it, in stewards. It's Katie King-Smith in the bow seat and Lucy Edmonds in the stroke seat over the line in the Hamilton Pairs Challenge Cup. Women's pairs, very impressive performance, so calm, never in doubt. And uh, here are Weaver and Warner from Hereford Rowing Club. Be better for the experience and have relished the challenge. They certainly have known they've been in a race there. Over the line they come now. We'll be uh, pleased to hear the bleak at the finish post. So Edmonds and King Smith win the Hambledon Heat against Weaver and Warner. 